I'm going to pierce your ears. Are you excited? Are you ready to cry? No, no. Don't worry. It's just, just a few seconds of pain, okay? Hey, guys. So, finally, I'm going to get my nine-month-old ear pierced. Normally, I should have pierced her ear like six months, four to six months, but... I've been procrastinating so today we started to go pierce my baby's ear <laughs> my cameraman didn't tell me cut 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 go back and fix your trousers <laughs> I don't know why my trousers are one leg off one leg down <laughs> well I don't know anyway I think it should be this hip seat I think it's it's taking the other bit up so we went to Claire's to pierce my baby's ear um I actually put an appointment last week but I didn't meet up and I cancelled that appointment but today I just decided to walk in because sometimes you can book you can just walk in depending on how busy they are so they are not actually busy today this is the only lady there and she told us she's the only one so she's going to be piercing the ear one at a time I was like yeah that's fine so she's just putting us through all the options they have on what to pick I remember when I pierced Chikamsu's ear my six year old that was when she was six months old i think or seven months old i i paid about 60 pounds because of the type of earring i went for i can't even remember is it nine carat gold depend it the size it comes in different sizes so i think i went for the bigger one which uh, later on i realized that it's not really necessary so um for cassier i think i paid about 53 or so so i want to go for that same option i went for cassie so although the lady was telling me there is another option of stainless steel which some people react to that so it's always advisable to go for gold especially for babies which just to be on the safe side because for the other two girls my um older kids they were i used um gold so my husband was saying what if i get the other one we used before <laughs> can't they use it i said no i was telling my husband no because i tried that and they can't reuse um earring actually so they just they have to use brand new ones so finally i went for the gold just to make myself feel better because my baby might react my baby might not just as she said it doesn't work for everybody yeah some people might react to it so just to be on the safe side here yeah. um yeah we paid the 53 so that's for the cost of the earring the piercing itself is free so um she's going to be using this earring for a very long time like for a very very long time i think um yeah so afterwards after choosing the one i wanted and then the lady started the um what's it called consent form so she made us to fill this consent form usually they normally do this in um paper like paper you just fill up the form there and there but yeah they're making things more advanced life made easy but the phone is faster <laughs> Tina is excited she don't know she don't know what's happening <laughs> the tablet. Okay. just need to have a read through that ear piercing declaration for us mm -hmm. on the next page is the actual consent form itself that needs to be filled in in your baby's details and then on the third page it will just ask you to check through everything and sign at the very bottom for us okay okay while you guys do that i'm going to get this chair moved out so okay. i'm just going to move it into the space here okay. so we can get you guys seated all right yeah so the lady gave me the consent form to just fill up and sign and why she attend to some customers because she's the only one in store that day and um normally she should have asked for my for my baby's red book but i told her my baby is nine months old and um she's had all the vaccination usually normally they've done that to me before claire's they didn't pierce cassie's ear when i brought her in when she was five months old and they needed her red book if only she has passed six months then they might not need to see the red book so i was nearly done with the consent form and the lady is just getting her ppe ready you're so beautiful you're so beautiful look at your lovely eyelashes <laughs> okay you're beautiful <laughs> and a big shout out to the cameraman for doing a great job but <laughs> that is job as kuma why did he tell me my trouser is one leg up one leg down <laughs> i hope he doesn't watch and see this part of this video where i'm saying this <laughs> if not he's going to say i'm not grateful <laughs> So the lady cleaned my baby's ear so it can be free from germs or bacteria on the surface and then she's going to use this ink stuff like an ink and a um, toothpick and make a, a marking so we are okay with the particular spot we want the earring to be so the one ear was okay and the other one was a bit slightly lower 
which um, I told her I wasn't okay with that if she could make it a little bit central and yeah then later on she did that even if Chine was just <laughs> Chine was just being distracted then I had to get her toys to to get her distract like read read distracted <laughs> and focused yeah it's not really easy doing this um, shout out to this to these guys that work here handling kids and trying to do a perfect job it's really really not easy and then the distraction worked so the lady was able to do the marking and everything turned out fine so she's just trying to check to see if the two dots are actually <coughs> <laughs> if the two dots are actually in the right position and she asked me to check to see if i'm okay with it because once it's been pierced that is it i don't want to come back again for repiercing maybe one ear up one ear one earring up one earring down <laughs> my husband was asking me if i want to pierce um, a second piercing and i said no i want to pierce my nose <laughs> So I was asking him if he wants me to pierce my nose. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready for any piercing. I just pierced this one three years ago. And it's maybe in the future, I might pierce. But now, no, no, no. <laughs> so I'm not ready for any piercing. So we're waiting for the lady. She's just cleaning the whole um, piercing tools and everything. Sanitizing it. And just because she's the only one, she'll be, using, she'll be doing it. Is it the ears? Sorry. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> and it's finally time to do the piercing. So the lady tried to do the first one. Her teenage was not Tine was not cooperating and I could feel like she was sweating. So I had to take off her, her cardigan so she can have a bit of fresh air, not to be too <laughs> she has not started though, she's sweating. <laughs> My baby was getting too hot, so I took out her cardigan, then um she finally pierced the first oh, one. Oh God. she cried. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a girl, sweetie. Good girl, I know. Sorry, this is the bit my husband doesn't like like anytime we go for vaccination or ear piercing oh my god he doesn't like the, the pain the kids are going through Okay. Is there anything you need to add to this one? Okay. okay. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> it was so easy. This is the, this is the bit that I, I've been dreading. Like. So when she was crying, just I just gave her one random the random things I wouldn't even give her on a normal day. So I just gave it to her and then she just calmed down and we're just waiting a bit so she can be a bit more calm and settled. And the other lady she was attending to some other customers and after that we just paid and then we headed back home so after piercing the ear the lady actually put um what's it called um aftercare solution so i'll be using the aftercare solution three times a day and for i think for three weeks <laughs> i need to go through there's a care there's a plan yeah i think i'll be updating you guys on that later so i need to use that and i need to leave the earring on for three weeks if before i change to any other thing but i need to always have earring on her ears for up to six months so afterwards we headed home so but when we got home i just did the normal cleaning because i need to do two more cleaning because i need to clean three times a day and generally she was okay but because i just pierced my ear three years ago so i somehow know how she's feeling just a little bit of maybe sore ear discomfort but she's not really crying crying but a little bit unsettled not as bad as vaccination that's immunization no yeah but yeah she's all okay we've got a new look <laughs> my baby slept all through the journey back home even when we got home she was still sleeping <laughs> 
Your ears, yeah? Oh dear. <laughs>